Oh, bam, blaster shots, and stun, a little shiv in the back. Pah. Yes, this is Clark with Doghouse Systems and episode two of the starting thoughts on the Old Republic. All right, so I just hit level 10 on my Imperial Agent, and I really want to check out some PvP. I've been on a big PvP kick and WoW lately, and wanted to check it out in this. Uh, mind you, this will be a pertinent fact later on, my character is level 10, and I'm the lowest one on my team. There was, I think, a 27 or 28, and then down to me at the 10, the next lowest was a 14. I'm able to hold my own, and more, more, more than just that, you'll see so at the end when we get the score screen. Uh, the PvP felt a lot of, it was really, it was, it was a lot of fun, I very much enjoyed it. The combat was fluid in the sense that I enjoyed it so much not because of the design of the battleground, but because the class design makes fighting fun. I like the Imperial Agents feel and uh, am just loving this. The map itself is kind of, again, pardon me with all the, oh wait, I'll get back to that in a minute. So when you die and you resurrect, it's instantaneous. You then hop on this uh, little speeder and you kind of do the sweep fly around on the battleground, which I like. So while you're, you know, zoning in, as it were, you kind of get a feel for where you need to go to get back in the fight, which is a nice little touch. Uh, this this battleground is uh, kind of a wrathy basin in style for all my WoW players out there. There's three gun turrets. It, you have to have control of them, uh, and when you control them, they're shooting down the enemy's ship. And if they're, you know, if you don't have control of them, they're shooting down yours. So instead of building points up, you're burning points down, and the first one, first team to get the enemy's ship all the way shot down wins. So here I am, I jump in and ultimately pick a fight with too many uh, Jedi warriors and get owned. Uh, what else is there to say? Uh, again, being level 10, I really enjoy the fact that I can kind of hold my own in here and not just be a total pushover. And also, I gain a lot of experience from doing this, so outside of doing you know the, the required class quests, you could PvP your way up if you wanted to. I think I gained almost, and I don't know if this is a facet of having we, my team ends up winning, but I gain almost a, uh, a third of a level from doing this, so that's uh, interesting. I'm probably coming back. Uh, winning earned me some Valor points, which I'm like leveling up my Valor level, and as I level that up, I will be able to buy PvP gear. Now, I don't, I don't know much more than that. I've, I'm coming to this pretty naive. I'm enjoying learning the game uh, organically as opposed to hopping on a website and just reading everything I'd ever need to know. Uh, so I'll find out more about that. I don't know if PvP gear has sort of a PvP-specific stat like resilience and WoW, or if it's effectively PvE gear also. Uh, to be determined, probably depends on your class and your spec. I hadn't even done my class-specific quest to go Imperial Agent Operative. I was still just a general agent. I hadn't, you know, chosen my advanced class yet. I hit 10 and uh, ran off into this. So the match is almost over. I kind of just show you some video here because I come up on the gun battery and it looks really nice. We're going to do a fade in. Here, there's the gun battery shooting and we're about ready to win. Uh, by the way, while I burn a moment here, the next video is going to be on crafting, so I just got into that. So stay tuned for video 3 and not, not too much longer. Alright, so here we go. We win. Bam. Now watch this. So, yay, we win, and I get this uh, achievement for having done PvP, and I pull up the score screen. I sort it by kills. Look at that. I am tied for second place, and I'm by far the lowest level person in the match, which just really stunned me. So they have some sort of balancing going on, because no way could I have been that good if this was World of Warcraft. So I really like the fact that PvP is viable, because they don't split out by level. All right, thanks a lot. Stay tuned. Bye.